Welcome to the Project Wall. Smash Canis's Coral Leaf with the old Riddle Facepalm Cannon. Sugarcane Farm Fireworks Factory. Build a game in the games area. Find a way to get unlimited gold. Operation Ninja Creeper. Beautify the ocean around base. Mind control villagers to get myself stuff and things. Get more beacons. Create an end chicken army. World domination. Deep storage. Each server member, preferably with their help. Dino Land. Gardenize Ravine. Dark Oak Conversion. Hello everybody, this is Nick speaking. Welcome back to another episode of Polycraft. Here on the Polycraft server. Yeah, I'm in the Ninja Creeper outfit. What did you expect? I mean, come on. It's awesome. And I actually, you know, made parts of it, so... Yeah, that's cool. Um, anyways, today is obviously a return to the uh, Polycraft server because, yeah, this video is here, so, yeah, okay. Anyways, uh, let's get the gear on and get out of this mode. So, yeah, a few things have obviously went on since the last time I created an episode, um... Don't think I've had anything actually here in the water tumble for a little bit, so, um, yeah, you guys remember this kind of aesthetic down here with the cave spider farm and whatever. Actually, I don't know if this is on camera ever either, but, yeah, kind of, kind of this aesthetic where we have the dark oak. Yeah, um, yeah, this is one thing that needs to be in more of the base is dark oak, so dark oak. Here. And here in the manual storage room. And, yeah, uh, awesome stuff. Dark Oak is awesome. And it's go down here, and there is actually a nice way to get over to the Dark Oak tree farm, because Dark Oak. Mm -hmm. Yep, so, basically, and as you guys can probably tell now, too, I am using the new Why Is There a Creeper Here? Uh, Creeper? There's a creeper in my redstone. Um, that concerns me a little bit. There is a creeper in my redstone. Okay. Um, cool. Good to know. Um, so we shall leave him alone for now, I guess. Um... I mean, yeah, I, usually the only mobs I see around here are guardians and slimes. Um, so that's kind of unnerving. Um, yeah, and I, I don't see him. Where did he go? Creeper? Uh, Creeper? Oh, there he is. He is hiding from me in this stupid little tunnel here. Ah, oh, I got your foot. <laughs> I got your stupid little foot. Did he... Sp oh. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Anyways, yeah, this is probably where he spawned some torch. There, torch here. Um, yeah. It's just... It's Bam some torches down here because we don't want creeper exploding base. Um, yeah, I've had, had skeletons spawning over here too, so um, yeah. Need to remember, I actually have a um, reason for lighting things up is to keep mobs from spawning. Yes, that is a very good reason to light things up. But anyways, um, I don't remember if the water temple was gone last time I showed you guys. I think it might have been. Um, yeah, but, yeah, like I said, quite a few things going on in here recently, and, uh, just kind of cleaning up this, these, this main room here, which is kind of like the center of the base, which, yeah, really needed to be cleaned up, and, yeah, we got a little bit of a project wall down here, too, to work on for future projects, and, yeah, as you guys may have seen in the intro here um yeah some 
some more realistic ones and then some nonsensical ones like uh um is there anything nonsensical here um maybe that one <laughs> we'll see if that one happens but other than that i think i think a lot of these things may end up happening <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm joking with you but anyways so today is obviously going to be going back over to the sugarcane um fireworks factory oh I know one other thing I've done since last time is the tunnel to the fireworks factory. There is now another tunnel to quickly navigate between the two. So here's the tunnel. It's a tunnel made of coal blocks and dark prismarine and more coal blocks and iron. Yep, coal and iron. So 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 basically ores. This tunnel is made of ore. Mm -hmm. And then you step through this portal. And... Blammo! That's a light glitch. I don't know why it's there. But yeah, anyways, this is the core of the fireworks factory. Obviously, back here is the uh, mob spawner that I can show you now. Oh, I thought there'd be a creeper in here. Because, you know, that would have that actually made sense to see a creeper here. Um, obviously it's not activated yet, but, you know, that's where creepers will be sooner or later. Um, and then they will come into this room, up a giant tube, and then fall to their death. Yep, that, that's the idea, is to send them up a tube, and then drop them to their death. Uh-huh, because creepers give gunpowder, and gunpowder and sugarcane give rockets, which causes flight and elytra. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, obviously that means we need to work on the um, redstone bits for the Sugar King section. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I might use the somewhat similar design to the one I had in um, the single player world that I did at one point. Um, and I'm kind of thinking if I do it that way, there'll be uh, four rows of 16. Um, and we can stack it, I think, like three or four times here. So that'll be a lot of sugar cane, which means lots of paper and lots of gunpowder, which means lots of rockets for everybody to fly and be happy because rockets are awesome. Also, fireworks, because, you know, who doesn't like fireworks? So, yeah, anyways, I will head over to the redstone platform and we will get working on the doing the redstone -y bits, so I will see you back in just a second. Alright, so welcome to the whole, this is the redstone contraption thing we're going to be building over and over again in the Sugar King section of the fireworks factory. So as a short little idea of how it works is Sugar King grows and it gets broken. So this is me demonstrating Sugar King growing, because I don't want to actually wait for the sugar cane to grow, you know. And so, yeah, basically, as you guys can kind of tell, um, sugar cane, it would grow up to one of the observers here. And then this cell, which this is a cell of three, but in the um, actual fireworks factory, they're going to be cells of five um, because it just works out better for numbers. So basically, in each cell, there is going to be a group of five sugarcane plants, and when one of them grows up to hit this observer, they all break across. And basically, I'm just doing a small group like this rather than a large group, because that actually allows um, lag to be a little bit down um, compared on this. So how you construct this is... Inside the sand here, there are hopper mine carts with hoppers below it, so leading into the storage array, which for this I have just one chest, but this would be a chain that goes to a big storage module thing. So yeah, basically, a whole bunch of sugar cane goes into a storage farm or storage facility, and pretty much all these blocks here, other than 
these three can be whatever blocks you want. It doesn't have to be iron and glass. I just did iron and glass so you can see things like the hopper minecarts there and the water and the actual contraption. I think in the actual fireworks factory, this will probably just be a solid wall. Um, and this will be solid blocks as well. So pretty much the only thing you're going to see is, well, pretty much nothing. Um, so anyways, the only part of this contraption that you really need to know about is this part right here. So observer is connected to a redstone wire here, which is on top of a block, which goes into a piston. So when this grows up here, and it goes too fast, I can't even show you, um, here. So when this grows, this basically fires here. If you, here, just I'll kind of try to keep it in the top corner there. So it fires, and then but turns on the redstone, which, you know, pushes all the pistons, so... And since this is a storage module of only five, basically that means we have plenty of um, space for everything to fire as it's supposed to. So, I have a box of items. Let's get going.
So I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse there of me building the first two layers of the uh, sugarcane section of the fireworks factory. Obviously, um, there is like lots of sugarcane already in it, so I kind of decided, yeah, we have some of the cells already ready to go. So I mean, there's 20 basically of the vertical columns on each side of each height. So 20, 40, 60, 80. So we got another, uh, we're basically doubling this up. So there's gonna be another two of these on top of this. And basically the reason why that probably took longer than I thought is one, I never remember how to work with uh, minecarts and two, I kind of forgot the idea of actually we need the hoppers and the minecarts to actually do that portion of stuff. So between those two things, there was it was kind of a, oh, right, I need to do that. And so, yeah, there wasn't, I didn't quite bring enough resources with me. So I decided, you know what, let's cut the time lapse here and I'll probably do the rest of this work off camera. So, you know, I think I am gonna get that done and be back in just a moment here. All right, and as promised, I did wanna bring you in to see the finished product of the sugarcane farm. So yeah, basically, I just double stacked it here and basically, yeah, I, I decided to keep the glass here because then you can see in and see what's going on with the sugar cane itself, which I thought was actually a really cool trick and then also allows us to get some light, much needed light, by the way, into the farm area. So yeah, now I am recording this after the fact um, of the time lapse and there is actually a cave that's kind of in the wall right there. So that'll need to be lit up at some point along with all the other caves around here. But yeah, basically this is the, I might go another layer on top of this because I did make enough um, supplies for a fifth layer. Um, I was kind of thinking the layers were going to be one shorter than they were, forgetting that the hoppers needed to be here, so. Yeah, so basically I only got 160, um, but since these farms on the bottom two rows were running while I was working on the top two rows, yeah, we have a not that bad amount of sugar cane so far. I mean, th almost four stacks already. I mean, that's actually fairly decent. I mean, you got to think a lot of this up here was me having to craft another ridiculous amount of hopper mine carts because, you know, they take a long time to craft and you can't stack them and things like that. So, but yeah, anyways, uh, we are sadly running out of time for this episode. One more thing before I go, though. Um, I think there will still be a little more work one more time there at the fireworks factory because we do need to get the creeper mechanism going and all of that. I did come back over here in between um, working on all this other stuff and ended up finishing up the storage room area over here. So the back part here is now the oak, dark oak wood and same with the inside of the um, cavity back here behind these chests because yeah, they kind of need to have the access points in the back. And again, over here, this also is all dark oak, and I did kind of the same thing here. The bottom there, I'm not entirely sure if it's necessary or not right now, but yeah, basically that kind of happened in between the different clips here, so I just wanted to show you that. And also, yeah, we got sugarcane in here, which is just a little bit of stuff for making uh, books for writing in. So, and yeah, planted a whole bunch of weed over here, so. One more thing before I go, obviously there's the project wall here that kind of became kind of a silly idea at the beginning of the episode here, so. The idea behind this is, well, there's some things that I just put on here to be silly, like uh, a whole bunch of this stuff, actually. Um, so, basically, I'm looking for ideas for things that I can build 
on the server here in the future. Um, at least for my own stuff, so... If you guys want to see anything, let me know. I'll probably pick one uh, once, like, about every five episodes or so as an idea to implement here in the Water Temple area or in the nearby area, which is probably also going to be near the Water Temple in the ocean somewhere, kind of like I have the Fireworks Factory uh, so, yeah, basically, that's what I want to do, is have ideas from you guys on what to do in the future. So, make sure to leave your suggestions down below. But, anyways, that will do it for this episode. Next time when we come back, we'll obviously be doing more of the Fireworks Factory. I want to get the aesthetic part done next, because... There's obviously quite a bit that still needs to go on there. But yeah, like I said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.